right so when that amount of money is being paid though nowadays some families will actually return them hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel i'm super excited to have you watching this video my name is mary and i'm a practicing lawyer in nigeria on this youtube channel i share videos to educate the general public so in today's video i'll be talking about customary dissolution of marriage i have made a lot of videos on um, statutory marriage how to contract a statutory marriage and how to dissolve it a statutory marriage for the sake of people watching my video or seeing my video for the first time statutory marriage simply means or who don't know what statutory marriage means it simply means um what people call court marriage that is a statutory marriage so i have a lot of videos on my youtube on how to contract it and on how to dissolve it okay so today i want to talk about customary marriage how to dissolve it not necessarily how to contract and contract it i don't want to use the word contract because um Contract is actually peculiar to statutory marriage, okay? How to, um, can I say conduct, not conduct, how to actually have a customary marriage. That is not what I'll be talking about because custom differs and I'm actually not a traditionalist, okay? I'm just a Yoruba lady that I only know what is peculiar to my own tribe, okay? So I'm not talking about um, how to have a customary marriage, but on how to dissolve it, okay? Let me make, um, can I use the word caveat? that me making videos on the solution of marriage does not mean that I'm advocating for sin, okay? I am of the opinion that um, differences can be reconciled. As a matter of fact, many people that reach out to me via my email address from my YouTube, many people, many people in diaspora do reach out to me on saying they want to dissolve the marriage. Oftentimes, not even oftentimes, all the time I tell them, try to mediate, particularly if they're the petitioner, that is, if they are the one that wants to um dissolve the marriage i often tell them to try to mediate i often tell them to try to mediate so what i'm trying to say in essence is that i am not an advocate for divorce the fact that i make a lot of videos on it does not mean that is what i'm speaking for as a matter of fact i can speak against this the only situation is just that when some people are adamant on going or embarking on a divorce proceeding i wouldn't have a choice than to um accept the debrief okay so basically, when we talk about customary marriage, the, the basic difference between a statutory marriage and a customary marriage is um, how the marriage is being done. For statutory marriage, that marriage would be conducted according to the marriage act. We have a, we actually have a book or laws that regulates marriage in Nigeria. So when your marriage is being done according to that the um, the the procedure in that act, that is the that's statutory marriage. That is when people go to them registry to actually conduct their marriage that is a statutory marriage and only a high court of any state can dissolve such marriage unlike customary marriage you don't it, it is not compulsory for you to go to the um to the registry as a matter of fact we christians we um yeah christians we have the opinion that the basic marriage that is more recognized by god according to the scripture is a traditional marriage okay so the registry is just maybe you to have the marriage registered and stuff like that okay so one thing about the customary marriage is a marriage that has been done according to your custom i am a Yoruba lady for me to have my um, marriage according to custom means a bride price must be paid so that is a basic thing according to my tribe i don't know if some other tribe there are other tribe they are actually different from this but i know bride price is actually the the fundamental the main component of what we call a customary marriage so when that amount of money is being paid though nowadays some families will actually return the money not reject they return the money because they have the opinion that they are not selling their daughter and things like that which is very very okay so but that is how that is when we can say a customary marriage has been done other things other items like fruits foodstuffs they sometimes they they bring such to the bride's um, family so that is when we can say customary marriage has been done. So on how to dissolve it, the only thing that was, um, the, the major thing is the bride price to be returned. The family of the bride needs to return to the groom's family the bride price that was paid. But in a situation whereby the bride price was given to them and they returned it, like we do nowadays, what should be the, 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 the um, procedure? which is actually the very tiny or tight corner. Let me use that word. Because the customary court of the opinion that when a bride price has been returned, the marriage has been dissolved. The only situation whereby people will find people going to the courts to actually dissolve a customary marriage 
and that way they'll have to go to the customary court customary court so the only reason why um such the only reason why you see some couple still proceeding to the customary court to dissolve their marriage is if um they they one of them actually needs a divorce certificate to prove that truly the marriage has been dissolved or maybe there are issues as related to the custody of children of the marriage or division or resolution or distribution of properties let me use what distribution division let me use that word of properties because some people can say yeah before i married you don't have this property i got married to you we put money together you have this property you can't take it all alone and things like that so that is the instance those are the instances that some people may actually prefer to see proceed to the court for dissolution of the marriage like i've mentioned the basic thing is the return of bride price. So in a situation whereby no bride price was paid or bride price was paid or and the family returned the money, what do you need to do? That is just one thing. I don't really have a, a how can I put it, a defined answer for you. I can only suggest what you should do because if, um, according to the law, what is how we actually operate when it comes to law in Nigeria? there should be a definition that should be a process or a procedure that has been made by either the statute that is the the act or this constitution or those books we use or the court has actually made pronouncements on it so issues like no bride price was paid or the bride price was returned what do you do i don't really have a specific answer for you but i can tell the best thing you can actually do is the best thing you can actually do when your bride price has been returned the groom family paid, but it was returned on the basis that we are not selling our child. What you should do, I think, if parties can actually sit and agree on a dissolution of marriage, like just agreeing to go separate ways, good. But if the one of the parties is being, no, 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 this can happen. The best bet, the best thing I think you can do is actually to proceed to the customary court to have that verdict. So in your application, it will definitely be there that, okay, they requested for a sum of five thousand as their bride price. However, we paid and that was returned. So, which means the 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 effect of bride price actually nothing to really talk about because when the customary court judges are making their judgments, oftentimes you will hear them say the sum of so so and so and so being the bride price should be returned. So the courts need to be aware that the bride price was paid, but. The family returned the, the bride's family returned it. So the court may not, most likely, will not make any pronouncement as relating to bride price to be returned in fulfillment of dissolution of marriage. I don't know if you understand me. So that is that. Also, I need to mention that the court may not order the may sometimes sometimes may not order the groom's family to return bride price in a situation whereby the marriage is about 20, 25 years and there are children of the marriage. They just feel like something has been established in that home there is not there is no need for the groom's family to return bride price okay the bride pr family rather to return bride price that is i sometimes hear judgments like that in court and the rationale will be that they are children of the marriage the marriage has been for a long time so there is no point in returning bride price i hope this video educates you I also come up with more videos as relating to marriage, divorce, you know, because I think that is actually helping a lot of people on my YouTube channel. And that's actually one of the reasons I make videos like this. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video.